Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. If you're brand new here, my name is Sophia and this is Going Home. I make videos every single week about crafts, decor, styling, interior design, and I touch a little bit on organization and fashion. So if that sounds right up your street, then be sure to subscribe. And yeah, let's get into today's video. Today I'm bringing you two thrift flip methods and ideas for you to go ahead and use yourselves. I basically found a set of two bottle shaped vases that I love the look of and just had to snap them up. I found them over on Facebook Marketplace and they were in a bit of a desperate need of a glow up. They had this sort of like sandy, grainy texture to them that I just wasn't a fan of. So I headed over to Pinterest to get some inspo. I came up with two Scandi Nordic ways to give them the glow up. And yeah, we're gonna go through how I did that now. So before I jump right ahead and show you what the first bottle looked like, here are my inspo picks. I found loads of these highly textured art pieces on Pinterest and I hadn't seen any bottles with the same level of texture on them. So I wanted to go ahead and just experiment and practice this design onto my first bottle, which was the smaller one, because I thought that was the best one to make into kind of like a feature. So this is what the shorter vase looks like. As you can see, it's got that sandy grainy texture I was telling you about, and it's definitely glass, although it's not gonna look like it afterwards. So what you're gonna need is some modeling paste, or it's also called relief paste. And you're also gonna need some painting knives to move that paste around. So this project is so easy. The first thing you need to do is simply put some paste onto the bottle or any surface that you're working on and you're using the painting knives to literally move that paste around, make as much texture as you want or as little texture you want and just kind of going with the flow, like put some music on, have something in the background. It's such a therapeutic process and yeah, I wasn't following anything, I just let the painting knives kind of do their thing. As you'll see as we go through all of the clips, I did not have a clue how I wanted the piece to look like when it finished. I just knew that I wanted to create as many different shapes as possible and just decide there and then if I thought it was finished. So here you can see I've gone down kind of like a vertical stripe route, but I can assure you it changed quite a lot from this point. Once I felt like I'd finished applying the first level of the paste, I decided to leave it overnight to dry and then worked on it again the next day to build up on the existing texture that I had created. Moving on now to the second bottle and I simply wanted to make it look white and ceramic. So for this project, you're going to need some chalky white paint, some baking powder, a paintbrush and a Tupperware box so you can mix the paint and the baking powder together, which is what you can see me doing here. So I put way too much baking powder into the mix, so I did have an internal panic, but actually it gave me the desired effect that I wanted and made the vase literally look like a ceramic piece. It was so easy. All I had to do was just paint the entire bottle with the mixture and yeah, then it was done. video i hope you've enjoyed it please give it a like if you did that would really help me out i am so happy with how these turned out they are so pretty and i can imagine picking them up from like a boutique interior store or like an independent one but yeah i'm so happy it must be locked down which is why i'm getting so excited about vases but yeah 
really really nice let me know down in the comments what you think of these and the video and also let me know if you have any projects or craft ideas that you think i should try my hand on and you'd like me to do because i would absolutely love that and would love to know your thoughts as well i would of course leave everything that i've used down in the description below so you can just quite easily go ahead and start crafting and creating and yeah i've really enjoyed today's video i'm going to do more of these i think but yeah i shall see you in the next video guys and i hope you have a great rest of your day bye guys bye.